Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my garage. We're here today to make a midpoint video. I usually release my videos on the 15th. Today is the second. Uh, since I was a couple days behind on the last video, that puts this one a couple days behind, but we're going to catch back up this month and we're going to release one on the 15th to keep the numbers updated. Things have been going well. Uh, the sun has been beautiful today. It is a wonderful day out there for solar production. We'll hop in here real quick and we're going to take a look at some of the numbers that are going on right now and what I've been doing since I got back from vacation. We'll, we'll take a look at that and then after we get done with that we're going to have a little talk about what we're going to do to go 24 volt here in a month or so. But let's jump right in and look at the numbers as it stands right now. Outside it is beautiful out there. Bright sunshine. 24.2 a little after 12.30. And then the smaller system, this one, is 15.3. I seen 26 amps yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, coming out of this system. And 17 out of this one. Not too bad. This is where we stand on the 30 amp system. It's currently pulling 6.1, 6 amps. That's the constant load. And there's a 50 inch TV on running. And it's at 831 kilowatts. Now we've made quite a few in the past couple weeks. Uh, we'll get into that here in a second. And then here's the small system. Uh, it's got the refrigerator on upstairs. Right now, it looks like it's running, pulling 9.7 amps. Uh, 292 on this one. Now, let's hop in here and take a look at my battery monitor. Now, as it stands here, we're set on the day I got back from vacation and had full batteries and all. So, we obviously pl plugged the refrigerator in, as you can see, and that's the 17th. Let's jump forward here. You're going to have to bear with me because the screen is cracked and sometimes this works real good and sometimes it doesn't. Let's go. 18th. Come on. It won't even go now. There's the 18th. And the 19th we were off grid. 20th off grid. 21 off grid on the refrigerator. 22. 23. 24th off grid on the refrigerator. 25th. 26th still off grid on the refrigerator. 27th is when I, they were predicting heavy storms, they were talking about hail, possible tornadoes, I get to thinking about power outages when that happens, so I put the refrigerator back on the grid for the 27th, and then the storms that never came, come on, go, hate it when it does this, I, I guess I should get one without a cracked screen, and it would actually go when I want it to, 28th, come on, Come on. Can we go back? There's the 28th. And as you see later on in the afternoon there, I put it back on grid after we figured out the storms weren't coming. 29th, been off grid ever since. And yesterday, cloudy day as you can see. There was no rise. Uh, but we, we weathered the storm. And that is up till now. And as you can see, the sun is shining and the voltage has started climbing. Now, let's back back out here and get an overall view. We're going to take this system here, 24 volts. I'm going to wire these two batteries together as a single 24 volt, 200 amp hour system. I'm going to buy one more 100 watt panel, which will mean I have four 100 watt 12 volt panels, all four of which I will wire together to make a 24 volt, 200 watt panel. And we'll use those with this battery and we'll use those to power the refrigerator and keep that as an emergency backup. It seems to be the cheapest way and the path of least resistance to go 24 volt. I'm also going to use this Guillendel over here on this system. We'll shelf the Samlex here and I will buy a 24 volt 300 watt or 3000 watt Guillendel inverter to go here. So this system will be 24 volts, uh, 200 watts, and 200 amp hours, 24 volts, and this system's gonna stay 12 volt. We're gonna go back to the original two batter, or original two solar panels on this system, which will go back to 390 watts, and then this one uh, down from 410. So we're gonna lose a little bit of amperage, but we've got the battery capacity, and I'm quite happy with the way this system is performing at the moment, so I don't really see or feel the need to bump it up to make it bigger. Uh, but I do want to bump up this system because it's the one that's going to provide all the emergency backup. And it won't hurt to have more wattage. Now, 
This is a 20 amp charge controller and it won't take the wattage that's required to keep the refrigerator and the sump pump and now a smaller college size refrigerator off grid. I think if we increase the wattage to 400, or I'm sorry, 200 at 24 volts, I think everything will work out fine. We're going to find out one way or another because uh, that's my plan. Well, that's it for now. Have a good day, everybody, and a better tomorrow. I'll see you in about two weeks.